Hello everyone and welcome to another Macho case. I haven't done one of these in a while and I felt like it was time to do one again because I it used when I did this all the time but I used to have a lot of fun doing it. And so today we're going over ceramics, the ceramics mod. And if I'm reading this correctly, the owner is Night Miner. I will have a link in the description of where you can download the mod. Currently, I am using um, Twitch to uh, use this mod stuff because Forge isn't working right, right by itself. So yeah, Twitch, you rock. You make my stuff work. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Um, for you're going, like I said, we're going over the uh, ceramics mod. And the first thing you need for any of the ceramics is what is known as porce unfired porcelain. And to make unfired porcelain, you need one piece of clay and one bone meal for the most basic recipe to make it. This is probably the easiest way to get it. So you get the unfired porcelain. And then another way to make the unfired porcelain, and you get two out of that, is with two clay and nether quartz. But you have to be able to get to the nether to be able to do that. So it's not something you might be able to get right off like that. So it'd probably be easier just to get, find a way to get the bone meal. <laughs> the next is unfired porcelain block, which is made with four of the porcelain blocks, like so. Go over here. And to make white porcelain, what you need to do is you need to throw it up into the furnace. And as we can see in a second, go and we get white porcelain okay on to the next is the different colored porcelain now to make the different colored porcelain you need eight of the white porcelain and the dye you wish now I have all of them in here just because it's like the same recipe all you have to do is change out the dye and as you can see and I get pink porcelain from that and then I have them all sitting out here so you can see what the different colors look like. Now on to um, the more special colors. Now in order to make this, you need six white porcelain, red, green, and blue. And as you can see, the, the different colors, it depends on what dyes you have. And also how it burns, goes through, it depends on how, what dark, how you actually set it up. This is just one of the recipes. You can set it up blue, green, red pink orange yeah like that whatever i don't know if it does it all the colors because this is these were only ones i found but it does a lot of colors as you can see and to make it you do it like so and see yeah, this one starts off with blue but if i change it around all right I said it doesn't work with everything. Let's try it. switching it around. See, it seems it likes it. That green is always in the middle. And then I get six of these. And then, uh, yeah, that's that. They're really cool, and I like them. As you can see. Alright. On to the next. And now to the most basic of tools. Now, if you're having trouble firing the iron right off the bat, you need a bucket. This is the best way to do it. It's just get three clay. You can easily just break the clay with your hand or get a shovel made really quick and do as such. And you get the unfired clay bucket. Now, if we go over here, get some coal, throw this up in here. And this is how you make like just a normal clay bucket. And there we go. As you can see from in here, you can use it to pick up water, milk, and lava like a normal bucket. But this doesn't require if you'd have to go mining. Essentially, you just look in the bottom of a riverbed. Okay. On to the next is the shears. Again, no need for clay with these. To make, you need just need two pieces of clay. And I forgot to put a crafting table over there. 
So all you have to do is do such, and you get unrefired clay shears. Now go over here once some more, and throw this up in here and there. And while that's doing that, I'm going to spawn a sheep. Oh, my bad. Actually, I'm going to hold on to it. And then I'm going to show you the clay shares. Now, this is, like, the perfect way to get a bed. All you have to do is get a furnace going, two pieces of clay, right off the bat. Not that hard to do. Don't have to go looking for iron. And works perfectly. Right. On to the next recipe. This is to make the um, porcelain bricks. All you need is a piece of unfired un porcelain and some coal. Throw all that up there. And you just chunk it right in the furnace and you get the porcelain bricks. As you can see from here. On to the next recipe, which is unfired faucet. I will show these off later. But what you need is two porcelain bricks to be able to make this. Like so. That's what the recipe showed me. Hold on. Is it just a uh, normal porcelain? Dang it. I put all of it in there. Give me this. I went on the website, and that's what it showed me, so hold on. So it looks like that's wrong, I apologize for that, let me change it up right now. Okay, right, now to make a fired faucet, what you need to do is just chuck it up in here with some coal. And give it a second, and then you will have the faucet. On to the next recipe, which is porcelain block brick slab, porcelain brick scraps, and they made two porcelain bricks. I actually checked this recipe because I was confused about it at first. And you get this. Now, <laughs> I apologize for this right here, guys. I had originally set this up as a different recipe, and I was wondering where this had gone. Because I had double checked everything and I realized that this was not where it was supposed to be. <laughs> so, ignore this. On to the next recipe, which is to make porcelain bricks. You need four porcelain bricks, and as such. And then you get the porcelain bricks. And here we go. Let me set this down so I can show you what it looks like. Very nice. I like these. Right, and then on to the next recipe is to get marine bricks, which is eight porcelain bricks and lapis lazuli. Actually, really love this color. It is so pretty, and I would just love to build with this. As you can see, I'm yeah, we'll leave one there. That's how much I like it. Um, and if that one other recipe was wrong, I think this one's gonna be wrong too. Because this is for the unfired channel. And let's see. Yeah. There you go. And it makes three unfired channels. And if you're wondering why, if I have the, um, I have the recipe mod thing up on, but for some reason, the thing is, I was trying to do this just by looking at the recipes on the site and I was having problems with uh, one of the recipes that I could no matter what I'll show, tell you which one it is when we get to it I could not find the recipe for it got the per porcelain channel and so I ended up logging out and downloading the enough items mod to put on this I was, wasn't going to do it but it, that's it, how it ended up now, to make an unfired clay plate, we will need to make the armor. It's just two clay, like so. 
And then you take the unfired clay plates and chunk it in the fingers. And what it comes out as is including these clay plates. In a moment. There we go. This um, just is sort of like leather. How it's made is, I don't believe it's as good as iron armor. Hold on. Yeah, half a bar for the hat. And then, let me show you the recipe and how to make it. Yeah, gives you one plus armor. The pants. Once again, two plus armor. So, come on. Not that great, but it's everything in here is very easily obtainable. Especially when you're just starting out. And this is three arm, three plus armor. And the boots. And as you can see, it gives me three and a half bars of armor. Good for like just starting out. And then on to the next recipes is for the, the brick walls. Now I only have one of the recipes in here because all of the recipes are essentially the same. They're just the same as a normal brick wall. And I thought it would just, it would, no point of just making all of them because they're all the same recipe. And as you can see here, rainbow one's really cute. Oh, I'm not creative anymore. I forgot. In fact, it's cute, but I say my favorite one out of all this is this one. This, I just love the purple. Then again, with my outfit, everyone knows I love purple, as you can see here. Really enough, I wish it had like blue a blue through it as well to match my outfit. Alright, on to the next recipe. The next recipe is to make the dark bricks. So you need eight actual bricks and an ink sack. And like so. Why'd you do this to me? I checked this and it was working earlier. <sighs> Let me get some clay. I should know that's not work. That wouldn't work. Uh, hold on. Let me go back into survival. Really, bricks in a smelting furnace. They really need to update that website because it was not right about some of these recipes. So yeah, let me get myself some bricks. Let's just run back down here real quick. Throw it up in here. So it seems you just throw the bricks up in a furnace. And I think bricks are just majority of like a vanilla recipe. You should know it. And it makes dark bricks. I actually like the look of this one as well. It's very nice. I always thought the, the normal bricks were a little bit too red for what they were. And then, like I said before, everyone knows how to make slabs. So, yeah, the recipe for the. There's two different recipes to make the slabs. So, yeah. As you can see here, here they are all set down. Once again, I really like the purple and the blue. Next is the stair recipe. And like I said before, just normal stair recipe. That's why I only did the basic one. As you can see here, and here they are all sitting down. Very pretty. 
on to the next recipe is to actually check this one so it should work hopefully is to make the golden bricks and put this in here yes there we go golden bricks all right as you can see hold on i gotta set them down okay i like these two this would be like nice and like um a building for like a bank or something i think that would look very pretty now this one is going to be hard for anyone to get because you need dragon's breath in order to make these bricks. And like I said already they're like my favorite bricks and they're actually called dragon bricks. And she backed the bottle. They're just so pretty. And then on to the next one. This one, you need a lava bucket. You can use the clay lava bucket as well. You need eight bricks and a lava bucket. Okay. And that's how you get lava bricks. I don't think they hurt you by standing on them. Yeah, they don't hurt you. Very cute, though. And now we move on into the inner area by starting over here. In order to get the rainbow bricks, you need six of the porcelain bricks, red, green, and blue dye. And it's shown right here, red, green, and blue. And then you guys, how you get the rainbow bricks. These are really cute for like, I think for like a pathway. Actually really adorable, I love them. Weirdly enough, I don't like the actual like fencing as much as the actual block. It just seems weird the way it's set up. And it's not that it's not pretty, it just doesn't look quite right. On to next is the unfired clay barrel. And to make that is similar to a funnel recipe. Throw it over here into here. And it's just fire it. And I'm not gonna make you guys wait. So here's the clay barrel. And this is the different colored clay barrels. I didn't put the recipe up for it because it's like super easy. All you have to do is put like a die next to it in the crafting table. Well. Did it rain? I didn't notice. <laughs> well, hmm. You know what? Let me check that. Give me this. And I think I'll just go for black because I got it on me. There was two ways to make it, and it was the one was this way, and that's how you can make one of it, and the other way showed this way. And you only get one that way. Seems the other one's more profitable, you have to use less dye. Throw some of this up in here. Alright. <laughs> I forgot about caps locks. Okay, be gone. On to the next is the unrefired clay barrel extension. So it over here, some pieces of clay, and that's how we get the unfired clay barrel extension. Just chunk it up in here. And once again, just how I showed you a second ago, that's how you change the color for it. That's why the recipe for it is not up, but I didn't have enough room over here because they do not stack properly. So this is the clay ones. That's all the different colors. Go around. Go back over here and drop. Now onto the porcelain. Unfired porcelain barrel. Once again, same recipe, if this is just with porcelain instead of clay. 
can see here, throw it up into here. And it's cooking it away, and that's the finished product. You get a wise bore sewn by RL extension. And this is the different colors. Once more. And let's see. there's that. There's that. Now over to here for the what unfired porcelain barrel extension, which is like before six porcelain, and you get the unfired porcelain extension. Extension. Ah, oh, that's hard to say. So while that's doing that, we're gonna head back over here because, like I said, again, the extensions don't like to stack. So they put over here, these got, I, I noticed between the clay and the porcelain, that for, the clay is sort of has got a cloudy look to the coloring, while the porcelain is a bit, quite a bit more smoother looking, similar to like concrete. Back over, drop, there we go. And then on to the last recipe over here, and then I'm going to show you something. This, this is the block I had problems, why I had to go and download uh, enough items recipe mod just so I could figure out what the recipe is because I could not find the recipe for this nowhere I went and looked at like five different sites um, the wiki for it nobody mentioned in the recipe in the chat I, I watched like four or five different YouTube videos just to see if they had this block in it but they were all for older versions of the, of the mod and there was one closer version but it still didn't have this block in it and it was in Russian so yeah this 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 one took me a while to make and it's like figure out how to make and it was like the simplest thing in the world I accidentally showed you the recipe already seriously I went in I had all the stuff in my thing and I tried to get it to pop up on here but it didn't want to pop up on here and I was going oh my gosh what do I do Oop, come back very pretty block, too. <coughs> Very nice for pathing and walls. I like it. Alright, now on to the last thing we're doing. I think this time I'm going, you'll see why I'm saying this time in a second. I think I'm going to go with red and magenta. And we're going to go over here. Let's choose pink and red. And then we're going to come over here where I've got this area set up. So to show a little bit how to use the barrels. This one is full of water. This one is full of lava. Okay, I need my water bucket on me. You can just, as you can see, it shows you how much water is in here. I, one thing I didn't test out was trying to put water in the little bubble. I'll test that in a minute. Let me see what it does. Now, as you can see, I've got these connected. Now, they're a bit finicky at first. got to uh, sit around and play with the settings to make sure it goes outwards or inwards to one area. And then you just place this up here and then you right click it. And the water will start pouring over into here. And if you right click it, it'll show you how much water is in there. As you can see, it's pouring into that area. And once more with this. Bit finicky about same way with the way over here. Let's turn it off. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Grab, now that this is full, let me grab a lava bucket. See what happens. It'd be very interesting if it could make like obsidian that way. Yeah, but yeah, it's a simple, cute little mod that I really liked. It's one of the reasons uh, for my going back into mods like I want to that I chose it. it didn't take that long to set up either. It's got pretty blocks through it. And overall, I just love this mod. Because it's very simple. 
easy to use. Yeah, it may have taken me a little bit of time to find the recipe for this. But I think it's because it's a newer updated version of the mod and it's like... It's like, it's from 1.12.2. The version I'm on right now. And it doesn't seem people, I don't know why, but it doesn't seem like a lot of people use it. And if they do, it's for like a mod pack. And it's a very underrated mod, I think. So with that, guys, please really leave a like if you like. Comment if you wish. Actually, comment about any mods you would like me to try to check out. I'm very open up to suggestions. And subscribe for more people. I am out. Bye.